<laughs> yeah, you could also type whatever you wanted to as well. It just looks at the first letter. So if you wanted to type anything, you could. Uh-oh, did Kuya die? Kuya died. <laughs> I do have some stats for Fat Fry's quest. Oh, I guess I could do that right now. Just it's nothing visual. All right, so how many people? All right, so <laughs> it's hard to say as a question to chat, but. We've had 1,000. Oh, Neil's back. We've had 1,382 people either. We, basically, we have 1,382 unique players in the Fry's Quest database. So that means they've either played it or watched it, have been present while it's playing. 92 people of that 1,382 have actually played Fry's Quest. So we've actually had 92 people play Fry's Quest, believe it or not. Uh, uh, I went through the database and looked and counted <laughs> how many people had played. 92. Are you ready for this? 10,563,724 experience points have been earned. So 10 million, yeah, it doesn't count Justin's profile being deleted. <laughs> so that's how many uh, experience points have been earned. So uh, I, like a month in, I started counting how much gold had been received. 403,000 not 119 gold has been given out to players. I also tracked how many gold was spent. 332,003 gold has been spent. So you can like subtract those and know how much gold is sitting out there for people to use as well. And so, so there you go. There's, there's some stats. I always love stats. And so I, the, the experience point stat I thought was pretty cool. And maybe I'll, we've talked about doing more of that and having leaderboards for different stats. So it'll be fun if we, if we do that. You got it. Play me back at. All right, hold on just a second. I'm trying to create a poll real quick. All right. Rats. Anyone need to level up? No. All right, so shall we play some Jackbox? Uh, all right, so here's the poll. Which which game should we play? We have Fibbage 4. I have not played Jackbox 9. This is the latest one, and I'm grabbing the wrong controller. Rumorang. Junktopia. Non-sensory. Or Quicksort. And you will need to be part of the uh, 
Uh, I'm going to put the, the room number in chat so that you can see it. You'll have to be in, in, in a member of the Discord in order to join in. So far, Fibbage4 is the leader. <laughs> And we can we can just kind of rotate around them if we want. All right. So I'm gonna switch to talking, and then turn that off. All right. And then so you can go to a browser. Let's see. It's loading. Okay, so it's uh, it's Jackbox.tv, and I have typed it in to the Discord. So, Neil, <laughs> I'm sure you want to join as well. And I think you do have to connect it to your uh, Twitch account as well. I think I set that up. I... Yes. That not doing anything? Oh wait, maybe I have to. Well, we don't have anyone have has joined yet, so I could be. Oh, Neil's in. You have to. Uh, it's weird because you have to connect it to your Twitch account. Yeah, he do. And then you have to do it again. Oh, okay. Pick All right, we have Neil. We have Murray. I wish I could hide. Evil Bud. I wish I could hide. I don't know how to select the thing. Well, you can't. You have to wait till I start it. Oh, okay. It says room not found. That is a, an O, not a, a zero at the end. I, I, that's what I'm looking at. I don't see how to hide the code. I see Kuya is in. Before you make the room, okay. Anyone else want to want to play? Go to the Discord. Yeah, I've never played the the uh, the ninth uh, Jackbox. This is the first time playing this. It's it's so quiet. I need here. Play my little theme song. There you go. There's some music. <laughs> Be gentle. Yeah. <laughs> yep. We'll be playing this. We'll be playing this all the way till midnight. So if you don't get it on known this time, we'll definitely be playing it some more. All right, shall we just go ahead and start? All right, so you, you if you if you want to play later, we can do that as well. All right. 
<laughs> no problem. Hey, I'm Cookie Masterson, and this is Fibbage, official sponsor of the Welker County Little League Summer Games. Nice to meet you. Let's hope this game goes more smoothly than my recent attempt to drive down local real estate prices by dressing up as a ghost. And if you're stuck oh, on wait, the I didn't, lines, why I didn't not join, join the audience? Audience members earn points Did by guessing the truth and Jackbox. fooling the players TV. with their lies. Let's hit it. Why didn't I get it? All right, let's. Shall we start again? This is round one. I'm <laughs> Hold on. I love you, sugar. <laughs> you are completely crazy, though. I was like, why in, Why aren't I in this? Why aren't I in this? All right, hold on. All right, let's see. Before I make the thing... Uh, okay. Okay. Now I don't. Now I can't convey to you. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. So now the new code is that. That's the new code. And I can now go to the. So why can't I join it? I don't. I guess I have to go to a browser too. I think yes, you have to. All right. Or on your phone. Yeah. All right. Anyone else want to join? Did we get everyone from last time? <laughs> oh, really? That is weird. I think, uh, why don't we do this too? Well, oh, we'll see. We'll leave it like that. All right. Oh, you can't switch. Somehow, shipwreck is flipping through the different pictures. So, which whatever one you hover on that's jumping up and down uh, is the one you've picked. Uh, so, if you move them around. Am I in there? I'm not in there. Right? I still don't see me. <laughs> okay. Now pick one of those. Either one of those. Okay. Open. All right. There we go. All right. Now. <laughs> it's a good thing I noticed this. All right. Shall we start now? Technically, you didn't notice it. I did. to restart. I've, hey, I've been streaming for ten and a half hours, so. <laughs> no, I'm not in the audience. I don't know who's in the audience. No, I'm, I'm on there now. Okay. All right, shall we go? Let's start. Oh, I'm supposed to be listening to this, aren't I? Uh, you can read it as well, but yeah, it'd probably Welcome help if you Fibbage. listen. I'm your host, Cookie Masterson, reminding you to let your pets spay and neuter you for a change. So do you guys work together or just mutual friends? It's so hard to meet people. Oh, and if you're not playing, don't forget you can still join the audience. The audience earns points by guessing the truth and voting on lies to trip up the players. Let's play. Ah! 
This is round one. You'll pick up 500 points for everybody you fool, and you'll score 1,000 for finding the truth. Okay, pick a category. All right, Tasha's picking a category. All right, question one. In 2022, students in Vacaville, California, took to protesting an unusual issue, their school's blank ban. Now, write a lie on your device that the other players might think is true. If you just can't come up with anything, use the lie for me button to get a suggestion for half the points. Do it already. Okay, here are your choices. Look for the truth and uh, tap it on your device. Moment of truth. <laughs> I thought flip flop would be a good one, too. Justice. <laughs> I'm holding up pretty good. Give me a category. <laughs> pretty well. Pretty well. Pretty well. Sorry, Neil. Oh, I forgot to put your logo back. Let me help with that. Pentagon. Ah, here's a good one. After wandering into a secured area in February 2022, the Pentagon had to call a special service in Arlington, Virginia to take blank into custody. Enter your lies now. Yep, yeah, virtual void. We got another hour and a half. Okay, these are the choices.
Let's see how it shook out. That a deer seems plausible. We actually at work had a bear. Chicken. I just think Animal Welfare of Arlington should put on their website that they could solve a problem the Pentagon couldn't. I spent my entire childhood watching bad movies just so you could have this question. Pay attention, I'm only playing this once. Put that thing away. You could kill a guy with that. Stop this car. You were supposed to go out into town. Well, he pulled a gun on me. This is what I spent all those weeks trying to get, is it? Let's have a look at it. A corrupt businessman and a German spy join forces to steal an experimental ray gun. Surprisingly, their foolproof plan is foiled by blank. Okay, enter those lies. Hmm. Yeah, we had a parking garage at work, and a bear wandered into the parking garage. We caught it all on cameras in the parking garage. Actual bears. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Okay, what everybody pick? <laughs> that was a good one, Shipwreck. That was a good lie. <laughs> I had a feeling that was the only lie. <laughs> that was my lie. Is that the truth? Oh, that was a lie too. I, I think it was because it was uh, a bunch of black and white clips. Oh. Believe it or not, a box of here. rocks. You stupid imbecile. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Get ready for round two where all the points are doubled. Select a category. Get a load of this one. In May 2022, the New York State Office for the Aging rolled out an uncanny project that offered 800 senior citizens a free blank. Submit your lies now.
<laughs> that would be funny, Will. If you were in the audience, you could put that in there. <laughs> There you go. Find the truth. See what everybody picked. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> I thought that one was a good one too, Evil Bud. That was a good lie. That was a good lie. Is that the truth? Oh my god! The LEQ by Institution Robotics is a proactive and empathetic care companion that helps aging seniors fight loneliness. What? Yeah, Shipwreck just dominated that one. <laughs> Let's see what's in the headlines. Headline from Vice. This Mexican town celebrates its namesake saint with exploding blank. Write your lies now. Mm. <laughs> Raising. All right, where's the truth? This was a tough one. Let's take a look. Is that the answer? Oh my god, hammers? How do you make a hammer explode? I have no idea. Okay, pick a category. How about this? Innovation! Gene on China has found a way to eradicate as much as 50 tons of restaurant food waste a day by simply giving the food to blank. All right, type in your lies.
Virtual Void, just join the audience. <laughs> just go to jackbox.tv and type in that code up there, R-I-L-O. The truth. See what you picked. <laughs> I picked monkey. <laughs> My lie. Your mom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Your mom. <laughs> Although people would have known. Really? Cockroaches? The cockroaches in a Chinese cockroach farm were then used for everything from livestock feed to ingredients in cosmetics and medicine. The circle of life. Exactly. Ew. I mean, I really thought I had the answer with the rat. Yeah. It all comes down to this, the final fibbage. A two-part question worth triple points. No pressure. <laughs> In 2014, Georgia authorities arrested a woman for possessing what they thought was methamphetamines. Turns out it was blank. And at the Cafe Keilu in Tel Aviv, restaurant patrons pay for the honor to be served blank in a fancy restaurant. Now you're gonna write one lie that sounds like it might fit in either of these two blanks. Okay. That's double the chance to fool your fellow players. Make it good and it might get picked for both blanks and earn you a bonus. Make sense? I'm giving you some extra time. You'll be fine. if you care about that sort of thing. Here are your choices. These questions have two different truths, but we'll focus on this one first. Choose the truth for just this question now. Let's move on to this question. Pick the truth for just this question now.
Interesting, I thought they were going to have the same answer. Not, but we're picking just the lie for both of them. Okay, how do we do? <laughs> Should have known. Double the deception. Double cheeseburger <laughs> of lies. And it was also. Now you have to get married. <laughs> One lie fits all. <laughs> Real layers to this one. That's worth a bonus. What was the answers? I bet you that's the restaurant. Yeah. Actually, I've heard that. Wait, she was. They confused spaghettios with cups, meth? Dried tomato sauce looks like meth, which is not a problem the Bohemian Art Experience Cafe Kei Lu has to worry about. Must have been dried out spaghetti it is. Did Murray just win this too? Oh my god. Guess Tesha was the most liked. All right, do we want to play a different game or do we want to play this again? What do y'all think? Different one? All right. So much more to explore. The home for prizes galore. Sweet village form. Trivia the so outrageous. How can it all be true? All right. Surprise! Gifting Tasha a sub. Can't believe he did that. <laughs> but I did anyway. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, exit to pack. Yes. Oh. All right, so I'm just gonna go down and pick the next one in the list. How's that sound? All right, so the next one is Rumorang. It's loading. You'll bow out for one. Shh. You can just like give it a second, see if other people join in first and then, and then do that. All right. I'm typing in the code into the uh, Discord. 
It looks like there's going to be room, so there's room for four, four, four more spots. Oh, someone else is joining. I've never played this either. Anyone else want to join? spots left it's in the discord Are right, you going to bed, Murray? All right. Well, thanks again, Murray, for everything. <laughs> Playing uh, Mario Party Superstars and then just being here for over the later on so many years. It's only like four o'clock in the morning in Ireland. So. One more spot. I'll wait uh, one more minute, or maybe 30 more seconds. <laughs> I'm sure he would like Wiener too. All right. If you didn't get in, you can always join the audience. I'm sure all of these games have audiences. <laughs> yeah, we got one more hour. We can do this. All right. time where you try to score without being shown the door i'll be your host here to guide you through a game that's a little reality tv and a lot of personalities this game is played in five rounds you are coming into this game with a detail about yourself that you selected in the lobby if you didn't pick one i wouldn't have did that for you this is the role you will be playing so play it up in your answers or completely ignore it and go after each other. I'm not your mother. I don't even remember what The goal <laughs> is to gain favor with your fellow players by answering questions in a funny way, a genuine way, or a brutal way where you stare them in the eye while stabbing them in the back. Drama! Let's meet the roomies. Ooh, maximum players, maximum potential. Thanks again, Puddle of Sick, for subscribing. Neil's a player. Hates democracy. <laughs> you pastor, nice. I mean, I didn't enter any of this. So. We well, got to pick one, and if you didn't pick it, I guess it picked one for you. In your private bank. 
<laughs> Points are gained through popular answers and lost if you are eliminated. But I'll be keeping the totals a secret until the very end. Shall we rumorang? Round one, introductions. You walk in with a special container that you immediately open. What are you releasing into the house? Answer the prompt on your device. Remember to use your unique point of view when answering. Details about yourself and other players are always fair game. <laughs> Sorry in advance. You are halfway through your time, roomies. Oh, you followed instructions. Fun. <laughs> oh, he is an immature sea captain, so. Good one, Neil. Bees. Not the bees. <laughs> Which answer really grabbed your attention? Vote on your device now. Uh... Time do I have? Okay. Here's who received votes. Each vote gets you a point. <laughs> The winner of the challenge gets an advantage. You get safety from elimination. I think it's elimination time. You will now vote for a player to be eliminated. The player with the most votes will leave the house. Oh my. If the player you voted for is successfully eliminated, you'll steal some points from them. Gasp. Vote for the player you'd like to send home. Want to add a reason? I won't stop you. I don't like this game. <laughs> I remembered what what people released into the room. Feeling confused about which player to send packing? Here are some reasons to eliminate someone. You think they are doing better than you. You didn't like their answer. Their avatar looks like your ex. You closed your eyes and pressed a random name. <laughs> Pick up the pace. This house is a rental. at a time, Neil. Just in time, I think. The 
eliminated player I don't know if it took it or not. <laughs> Mike got eliminated. Blame? Let's find out. I don't know. And I sent who voted to eliminate you and why to your device. Just so you know who to be mad at. <laughs> Anyone that voted for you is taking a point from your private bank. Don't worry, you'll make them pay. <laughs> Before you go out the door, now is your chance to say any final words to your former roommates. You have a few seconds to speak aloud or type your parting words. <laughs> forgotten <laughs> well this is unexpected <laughs> it's a newcomer oh well, it's hello, a new person mook rooker 68 about you but you've got a new name and different information about yourself <laughs> so what do i know <laughs> let's dive into round two connections Another player is struggling in the house rugby match. What do you say to get their head in the game? I've chosen another player for you to talk about. Their name is on your device. Time is up. Plan accordingly. <laughs> I'm the one that's been streaming for 11 okay. hours. Plenty to discuss. <laughs> that was a good one. is the perfect reply. Vote on your device now. It's Brittany, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> running out people who got the votes a tie then I think you should get the advantage presenting your challenge winner 
When you get talked about in this round, you also get points. You alone pick the player who will be eliminated. <laughs> Neil, you get to pick who's eliminated. Time has arrived. Brutal. Man. Go for the player that oh. you want eliminated. I don't. Oh, no. Drama, exactly. He'll probably pick me. <laughs> <laughs> clouds in the background. <laughs> okay. Oh, thanks, Creamy McCreamy. Will be the same. They found me. I mean, let's Thank see you who so it much. is. <gasps> oh, no, he's back. New roommate. Welcome, new player. <laughs> It's now Moke Rocker. <laughs> He's a teddy bear. <laughs> Round three, and it's a quickie. Time to start selling door to door to raise money for the new roof. What are you selling? We're going to do this one in the dark. Answer the prompt, but when it's time to vote, you won't know who wrote what. Keep a good pitch down. <laughs> Be aware that you're halfway through your time. over here more nice yes. there we go make those voices heard <laughs> that's a good one Sell by the seashore. He knows an energy race. I like how. Yeah, exactly. I like how I typed it slow. Which is it? Vote on your device now. Pick your favorite. <laughs> Let 
let's see those votes. And here's who took it. <laughs> Your elimination vote will count as two votes. Time to thin the herd. Fair? No. Delicious? Yes. Vote for a player to be eliminated from the game. Oh, okay. Half the time is up. Plan accordingly. The eliminated player is... <laughs> Let's see who voted for you. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want to say? <laughs> I've heard enough of that. The house won't be the same without them. A doorbell in this economy? Look at this specimen. Get in here, new roomie. <laughs> it's make rocker, bro. Round four, the fire starter round. Witchcraft accusations are going around the house, again. Accuse another player and provide a reason. Select the player you want to write about on your device and then answer the prompt. FYI, half your time is up. Okay, we went there. <laughs> I mean, it seems like witchcraft to me. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> good one. Good one. <laughs> Which one of these is your favorite? Vote on your device now. Yeah, that's pretty fun. Time's running out, people. So who did we vote for? Challenge winner. And if your name showed up in an answer, you get points too. You get safety, and you can choose another player to keep safe as well. Got something to say to the player with the advantage? Make your case. <laughs> oh no! It's time protected Mike. for an elimination. Or, I'm sorry. Make rocker. Ooh, spicy! Vote for the player that you want eliminated. You are halfway through your time, roomies. Get those answers in. Eliminated player is. <laughs> but who did uh -oh. this? <laughs> that was close. I almost got eliminated. Oh, wow. oh look how words? sad he looks. miss them already my goodness an unexpected arrival <laughs> what do you know fresh blood Wearing hello a hat. stranger <laughs> loves being in control congratulations from on making baby it to the to finale a i'm so proud of most of you not everyone was so lucky this is your final chance to prove to everyone that you and you alone deserve to win. Get a hold of yourself. It's the finale round. Sponsored by Cashews. <laughs> when peanuts aren't doing it. I want you to think about everything that's happened. <clears throat> this journey coming to an end and ask yourself. What was your secret strategy?
FYI, half your time is up. Time's running out, people. Lots of thoughts, lots of feelings. <laughs> That's probably true. It's time for the final vote. Who do you think should win Rumorang? Vote on your device now. Time's running out, people. And honestly, who do you think should absolutely not win? <laughs> who shouldn't win? Okay. <laughs> Can't pick the same person to win and lose. Hurry, I'm sweating over here. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's see who was really there for you. And who took one last chance to hold you back? <laughs> now let's add all those points I've been keeping track of. and virtual it's so void. close I can taste it <laughs> and Neil wins <laughs> oh really yeah I, I'm really surprised <laughs> give us a victory speech darling you've yeah. earned it give us a victory speech <laughs> as ambivalence <laughs> oh, oh. bye oh. bye it, it, it quit doing it well, you can say it. I was just, I was just gonna say thanks to you all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, shall we play one more? We've got about thirty-five minutes. Let's say we play one more game. Let me go back to this. And I'm just going to go down to the next one, which would be Junktopia. I did say, I did say Mike should win. Yeah. Is anybody who comes back that much? That many times. <laughs> <laughs> You'll bow out. All right. 
All right. Thanks, Mike. Thank you so much. All right, the code is on the Discord. Try it again. And then I will join. going to get another Diet Coke and use the restroom. So two more people can join in while I'm doing this. Be right back. Neil, you can talk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. spots if people want Junktopia. Y'all may have noticed I've turned you into frogs, but don't worry, I'll poof one of you right back if you make the most profit reselling some strange antiques. See, I love weird old human things, but I hate their boring backstories. That's why I need you. Here's the plan. First, I'll take you to a local shop to buy a mysterious item. Then you're gonna name that item and give it some funny details. Make me laugh, gosh darn it. Finally, it's time to showcase your silly item so your peers can appraise it. 
The money you paid for your item will be subtracted from the appraisal value, and voila! You flipped it for a profit. Hopefully. The frog with the most money at the end of the game wins. Think of it like a quest to get your bodies back. A real Zero's journey. Let's start things off with a little retail therapy. On your device, you'll see three items to choose from. The item you get is gonna be appraised based on the funny backstories you're gonna write. So buy something you think you can make hilarious. Buying a more expensive item means you'll get just a little bit less profit when you flip it. When it comes to winning, there's more than one way to skin a unicorn. Remember, joining the audience is totally acceptable. Registers closing. Pick or I'll pick for you. You have the audience to thank for these discounts. So ends our shopping experience. Yeah, you Check can go into the audience regret. by going to that link ready. and typing in IAGZ. Now it's time to flip these babies. Let's start with a name. What should people scream in terror when they see your item? <laughs> Next, dream up two hilarious facts about your item. For each fact, you can either fill in one of two prompts or write something of your own. Spin me a tale. Your time starts now. Get hopping. Yep, this is Jackbox 9. Yeah, so this is the latest one. I think it came out last year. <laughs> I guess so. They, they crank these things out. 
deliverance vibes. It's the banjo, I'm sure. <laughs> Nobody's I'm tried to again. rape Ned Beatty yet, so I'm... Yeah. Hurry, not well to live. Time's up. Let's check out all these wonderful words you've weaved. It's time to learn about these items you bought. Here's the deal. We'll showcase and appraise some of the items, and then we'll do it again for the remaining items. <laughs> oh my god! is certainly making me feel things. <laughs> oh. the items we just saw. Okay. Here's a recap of the weird stuff we were forced to look at. In each matchup, select the item you think has a funnier backstory. Remember, in this economy, laughs are way more valuable than NFTs. <laughs> have been made. It's time to see what these toilet puppies are worth. <laughs> the appraisal value is... And here is the audience's input. And this is what you paid for it. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, you could buy two things? I thought you could only buy one. But this one was mine. No, nice I only bought one. Skills. <laughs> that was pretty funny, Virtual Void. Most expensive Nokia phone ever. Yeah. Come on, crew. Let's review the new slew of objects. All right, so now I guess the other people who were in the game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the <thing. laughs> I'll keep my opinion to myself. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> wow, it's <laughs> Ha 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 
<laughs> I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> my god <laughs> Just <the> interesting <laughs> oh, now so start funny. a phrase <laughs> <laughs> All right, now to phrase it. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> all right. Oh. Y'all are all very funny. Y'all all did really good. Throne of Destiny. This item's true worth is <laughs> what you bought it for. Got a pretty good deal on that deal. The uh, placing it to watch you. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> oh, evil bud. <laughs> Should have known that was you. Who is leading this riveting competition? It's close between Puddle of Sick and Evil Bud. A flip so nice will do it twice. You're gonna go shopping again, except this round, there's gonna be a mystery item. Could be anything. A treasure for a song. Or a complete trash for a very expensive song. All right, time to shop. <laughs> oh, God. Huh? <laughs> <sighs> Discounts there from the audience. Hey, got casual gaming And guy. as the shopping ends, the buyer's remorse begins. So, if you want to join the uh, audience, Jackbox TV and it's I A G Z. Probably not, Zab. It's getting pretty late. But you know what? I think we'll play we'll play this again um, in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna do another 12-hour stream in a couple of weeks.
I agree. I, I felt like I didn't do as well that time. <laughs> Don't think, just fact. I was... Well, I'll explain it later. to show off your items. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> Wowzers. <laughs> Check out this spicy number. <laughs> Cheeto dust covered lawsuit. <laughs> It was the wrong heroin. <laughs> wow. Wow. Entirely like this. That's amazing. You got a knack for these facts, Jack. <laughs> Get your appraisal on. The numbers have been run. Let's see what your items are now worth, dollar wise. The value of this object is... <laughs> and you got it for... What a steal. Funny wrenchy kinku. <laughs> Stretch those frog legs. Time to see the next batch of stuff. Mm. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> sure, that sort of makes sense if you don't think about it too hard. Oh, thanks, Zab. <laughs> the real treasure is the frogs we made along the way. Tiva patch, okay. Wow. <laughs> That's imaginative. <laughs> oh my. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Huh, a lot to think about here. <laughs> Demon baby. Go on, appraise. <laughs> tabulations have been made. It's time to see what these toilet puppies are worth. <laughs> the real value of this item is... <laughs> Ten votes. <laughs> and here's the cash you put down. Wow, that was a steal. All right, so this one was mine. <laughs> um, I could have gone really inappropriate with it, and I tried not to. <laughs> I, I did as inappropriate as I thought I could go. <laughs> oh my god, that baby! That must have been Neil's. I know Neil, Neil some of the things- I know Neil too good. <laughs> Not too well. <laughs> All right, one more We're round. We're just about done. We just need well, to review y'all's items as a collection. Go ahead and write the name of what your set's called right now. Uh, we're, we're selling them as a collection. Uh oh. collections. Split the vote. Oh. <laughs> and now this batch. <laughs> vote for your favorite collection. Which one of you deserves to go back into your human form? Yeah. Frogo to humanus. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsies. 
Gotta Congrats, Puddle is sick. All right, I guess. So, how are you feeling, Neil? Can we play? Should we play one more? Um, go ahead and do it. But I have something I need to do. All right. Oh, we'll play Zab. We'll play one more. Congrats, Puddle is sick. Go back to this. Do you want to enter the game? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're going to sit out this one? Yeah. All right, so we're going to play... We're just going to go down and play the next one in line, which is non-sensory. Putting <clears throat> I have put the code in the Discord. <clears throat> It in the Discord. Yeah, it's in the Discord, Zab. In the chat room. Chat. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's very hold music, isn't it? <clears throat> so I'm glad I downloaded this. This is kind of downloaded it at the last second thinking, oh, it'll be fun to play some Jackbox Party game games. So I think maybe next time we'll play more of this than the Mario Party because this kind of includes everyone or the Mario Party just kind of includes the people who are playing. So I think this one is more inclusive for the whole chat, right? I think this is maybe next time in, a, in I'll... I have to check my work schedule and then I'll, I'll schedule another 12-hour uh, Sunday to celebrate hitting 2,000 people, 2,000 followers. And thanks again, Zab, for all the gifted subs you've done today. Do I need to follow any of these people that you've... sub to? Do we need to order something from Wild Birds Unlimited? <laughs> I'm already following Danny Cakes. There's some, there's room for three more if anyone else wants to join in. Okay, we'll do. you like to try it? 
Yeah, uh, definitely. No, I'm I'm in my work computer. Okay. That's that's why I'm not doing it. Neil's gotta work. All right, we ready then? Anyone else want to join? Last joiners. Let's, let's start it. Hello. If you want to join the I'm audience, it's up there. Professor Nanners, thank you for volunteering for this study of the ultranatural powers of the human mind. We'll begin with a quick mental sync up. In the waiting room, this participant was secretly given this task. We do not know yet what number they were given, but they wrote this. Now, everyone, use the power of your minds and your phones to predict where their answer belongs on this range. Try to get as close as you can. Use right. a device to guess the true so percentage. So, where does 100%. Olive's rank? That means you in the audience as well. It's okay if you're not perfectly attuned yet. We're opening our brain windows. Quickly, time's almost up. Okay, here's what everyone was able to intuit. And how close did we get? No. Three. Everyone missed this one, but no worries. This was just a warm up. <laughs> Test one <laughs> writing. Now. Everyone gets to answer a question. Write a text message. The rest of the information about what you'll write and where your secret number sits on the range should be on your device now. Try to write an answer that will lead your fellow participants towards guessing your secret number. Or just write an answer that makes sense for you. Let your inner mind guide you. Letting you know, half of the time has passed. Let's begin with this right. question. How likely is it that this text message was sent by a mad scientist? And this participant's answer. Use your device to hone in on the correct number. That includes you too, audience. After you guess, feel free to let us know what you're feeling. You can use your device to share your emotional feedback.
someone hit the confidence button. Nice. The real answer. That's a hundred percent. I'm measuring your mind power by how it's close you are to mad. the secret number. <laughs> it seems like more uh, like a again. message a mad Same scientist question. would receive. But now yeah. it's this participant's answer. Oh, was sent by a mad scientist. Oh my god. I misunderstood the question. What's on the mad side? <laughs> Some notable activity here. The writer gets points for every player that got close. These missed the mark a bit. Next question. How likely is it that this text message was written by a pro wrestler? Let's see the response. <laughs> this is on a scale from one to ten. Uh. But where does the truth lie? Someone got close, at least. <laughs> no, that was like Hulk Hogan. These were a bit yeah. off, eh? Continuing with the same question. Let's see the response. <laughs> Sounds like John John Perry. Yeah, it does. And the true answer. <laughs> Changing questions. <laughs> How riddled with autocorrect is this text message? Let's see the response. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Here's what we were hoping to hit. I guess it was only one word, though. So. <clears throat> Close for some of you. These answers are less impressive. That concludes our first test. Okay, that was right. interesting. Let's review our findings. Results seem neck and neck for mind powers. Well, mind neck and mind neck. Acceptable work from our audience. Yeah. Thank you, audience. It's kind of a weird game, isn't it? Test two. Drawing. Oh, now it looks like maybe we're doing something with drawing. Everyone will begin with a similar drawing task based on this category. Draw a face. Oh, no. Craft something with your intuition.
By the way, you're halfway through your time. Hey, Unibrowning, how's it going? Yeah, how does one do 30% autocorrect? Yeah, I know, exactly. Oh, I'm also tracking moments when you're especially confident about a number. Oh, After I'm you not. choose your answer, you can tap and hold <clears throat> the confidence button to get bonus points for being close. Oh, but I'm never if you're more confident. than one spot off, you'll lose points instead. We'll begin with this. How angry is this baby? Let's see the response. <laughs> I can't draw either. A bit of an outlier, I see. All right, Only I was close. The audience sensed the right answer. Same question. Let's see the response. I didn't see that it was supposed to be a baby. <laughs> so, until I had already drawn, and there was no way to, to like, change it. So that's my excuse. <laughs> but what's correct? I mean, I know this has been a long stream, but... You like my drawing? <laughs> New question. How likely I mean, it's is fine, it that this person like, it doesn't look is like a, a robot? Yeah. Let's see the response. Oh. This one uses percentages. How likely is this person secretly a robot? Okay. your instinct sled you someone's a bit out there oh here's a bonus for that confidence <laughs> continuing with the same question let's see the response <laughs> I like how we're all pretty much not very good drawers. Um, <laughs> you get <laughs> you get more points if they if people guess it correctly as the drawer. So you want you chose to you want people to guess it. But what is it? I should have done the confidence. Okay, new question. How likely is it that this person is hiding a big secret? Let's see the response. <laughs> um... I don't think my stylus would <laughs> would help me. The truth, however. 
Wow, I got it again. All right, that's a wrap on test two. All right, let's review our findings. I feel like I'm gonna, yeah, you gotta go up This study could eventually help me pay off my car. I never did learn how to drive it. Some great readings from our audience so far. <laughs> I like seeing that. Agreed. We are now entering the final test. That means the points are doubled. It's time to draw a combination of two very different things. On your device, draw something that sits on the range we've sent you, and then tap Submit. Note that you're halfway through your time. I need an eraser. I need an eraser. Why can't I get an eraser in this thing? I, I, it says undo, but I want to undo the whole thing. I just need like an eraser where I can just erase something. Yeah, I know. I, oh, is there an... Oh, does it undo... Oh, does it just undo a little bit? Or does it, re like, clear the whole thing? Finish up. You're out of time. Oh, yeah, exactly. None of us want to risk doing it, right? <laughs> Let's begin with this question. Where does this drawing belong between Poodle and Porcupine? <laughs> Let's see the response. Poodle and Porcupine. <laughs> Oh my. Um, I want to say it's a little more. Well, I can't really say. I don't want to say anything. I don't want to influence anything. <laughs> How close were we? Same question. <laughs> Let's see the response. That was six. <laughs> Your predictions. Similar theories, good to see. The truth, however. Yeah! <laughs> so many of you hit it exactly. <laughs> Changing questions. Where does this drawing belong between key and tree? Let's see the response. <laughs> I was laughing at the question mark. <laughs> Exclamation mark. Or is it a tree? Or is it a but key with a tree on it? The audience has it all figured out. 
Come on! It was a key! But it had a tree on it. <laughs> was it a tree? Continuing with the same question. <laughs> Let's see the response. <laughs> what is this game? got their own unique idea of what this might be. Oh, that was a key. New question. Where does this drawing belong between bad smell and good smell? Let's see the response. <laughs> okay. I would say... <laughs> Everyone seems to be honing in on the same area. The real answer. Oh, there's more. Well, see, the poop had more smell lines. That's why I went with. Bad. That's it for the final test. Yeah. But here is where the greatest power lies. Yeah! <laughs> We're all in awe of your abilities. Anyway, that was a weird game. That was a weird game. These readings are. Quite good. So many nonsensory connections made by our audience. <laughs> All right. All right. It has been 12 and almost 12 and a half hours. So let's wrap this puppy up. <laughs> it's been a great three years of streaming. Uh, thank you so much, everyone who has supported the stream over the years. Thank you, Flaming Baguette, Tasha, and Zab. Zab, thank you for all the gifted subs. That means a lot to me. And yeah, thanks, Frenchie Kinku. Um, wow, it's been a long stream, but I've really enjoyed it. And you know, I now that I've hit 2,000 followers, uh, 2,001 followers. Uh, I will, uh, I'll have, uh, another 12 hour stream in a couple of weeks. I'll let y'all know. I got to check my work schedule tomorrow and I'll be adding a lot more people as subscribers. Uh, so glad. Oh, thank you, Zab. <laughs> um, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern and on Saturdays at 3 p.m. Eastern. I will be back tomorrow. What? He's going to come back tomorrow? Yep. I'm coming back tomorrow at 9.30 p.m. Eastern for more Pokemon. We're on the fight. We're on Victory Road. We're getting so close to finishing that game. Um, thanks to Murray, Shipwreck, and Pass for doing uh, Mario Party Superstars. That was fun. I, I kind of liked uh, Jackbox more. So maybe with the, 12, the next 12 hour stream, uh, we'll play more uh, more of this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we didn't play. I thought. I, you know what? I totally forgot. We did. We were gonna play words on stream. We'll play words on stream next time as well. We'll do some words on stream. I totally forgot. <laughs> I thought about it a few hours ago. I was like, oh, I should play some words on stream. We should do that. And then I completely forgot. <laughs> Um, gosh, I really do appreciate everything. I, I really do enjoy streaming. I enjoy uh, when I think I'm too too tired one day at work. I'm like, you know what? I get to go 
play video games and, and entertain people. And so I really enjoy all of y'all showing up uh, each and every uh, stream and uh, just hanging out and having fun. <laughs> and and just uh, just having making uh, making all this uh, so much fun. Thank you. I know I am tired. I can I can really tell my energy is now really low. <laughs> and and I'm just thinking, oh, I've got to get up in the morning because we're having the construction people start on the on the bathroom. So, all right. Thanks again to all the subscribers. I'll add everyone on there who got gift subs and everything like that. Uh, thank you, subscribers. Oh, thanks, 104. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> I can't believe people do 24-hour streams. I just don't see how people do it. <laughs> thanks, Flaming Baguette. I'll do the Flaming Baguette power nap. That's what I'll do. All right. Here's our raid message. Let's go see who we can uh, raid. Let me actually copy my own raid message. I always forget that. Let's see who's out there. Who we can bring this, this big old ball of fun to. Uh, Super Nimbow is on. He's playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game. That sounds pretty fun. I think that's where we may go. Let's go over to Super Nimbal. I really enjoy him. Oh my goodness. Look at that Jedi Master Grogu. <laughs> Super Nimbal. Boom. Does it work? Yay! <laughs> Thank you everyone for being here. Woo! 12 hour streams. That's uh, not an easy one. Thank you all again. Hope you have a great uh, week ahead. Hope to see you back here tomorrow, tomorrow night. And uh, yeah, good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>